Hello everyone. Welcome back to Rizat Graphics. In this tutorial, you will learn to create this. So, let's get started. First of all, I am making a simple eBay logo in Adobe Illustrator. So don't skip this step. As you can see this is an editable text. So we need to create outlines to convert the text to editable paths. So right click on the text layer and choose create outlines. Again right click on the text then select ungroup. Now, we have a separate layer for each letter. Let me change the colors. But you can skip this part if you want. Select the text layer, and click this little button to open options. Now, select release the layer sequence. Select all layers and drag them outside the layer. Now, delete the unnecessary layers. That's it. Go to the file menu and save as the logo. Open Adobe After Effects then create a new composition. I am calling it the Electric Neon Logo V2. As always, I am using the same resolutions. Frame rate to 30 frames per second. And set the duration to 10 seconds. Go to the file menu. Then import the vector file which we created in the first step. Select the import kind to composition. Then hit OK. Double click on the composition. Select all layers. Then right click. Go to create and create shapes from the vector layer. Select all vector layers. And delete them. Select all shape layers. Go to the layer menu, then choose auto trace. Then hit OK. Now, delete all shape layers. We don't need them. Rename the traced layers one by one. Now, select all layers then press the M key on the keyboard to open mask properties. Select keyframes and delete them. Again select all layers, and press the M key. Select the first layer. Go to the effects and presets. And search the effect saber. Drag and drop to the first layer. Go under the customized core, then change the core type to layer masks. Go under the render settings. Change the composite settings to transparent. Change the preset type to neon. Change the glow spread to 0 0.30. Glow bias to 0 0.15. Now, change the start size to 0%. Then change the start offset to 100%. Add the keyframes on mask evolution, end size, and end offset. Go forward to 2 seconds. Change the end offset to 0%. Go forward to 4 seconds. Press U to reveal all keyframes. Then add keyframes on end size and end offset. Go forward to 7 seconds. Change the end size value back to 0%. 
and end offset value back to 100%, change the mask evolution to two rounds. Let's see what we have created. Cool. Looks good to me. Select the Sabre effect and press Ctrl plus C to copy it. Make sure you are at the first frame. Select the remaining layers, and press Ctrl V to paste the Sabre effect. Perfect. I am going to change the glow color for each layer. And I will skip this part to save your time. Let's see what we've created so far. Cool. Looks good to me. It's time to make the floor reflection. So, select all layers. Right click, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it logo build. Select the logo build layer and press Ctrl plus D to make it duplicate. Select the bottom layer, then enable the 3D option. Press R to open rotation properties. Change the X rotation to 180 degrees. Press P to open position properties. Then change the Y position to something like this. Go back to the projects tab. Click here to create a new composition. Rename it to the floor. Right click here, then new, and select the solid. I am calling it checkerboard. The color should be white. Go to effects and presets. Search the effect checkerboard. Drag and drop to the solid layer. Change the width to 175. Again create a new solid layer. Rename it to Fractal Noise. Change the color to black. Go to the effects and presets. Search the effect of Fractal Noise. Drag and drop to the black solid layer. Change the contrast to 475. Select the top layer. Then change the blending mode from normal to add. Select both layers and right click. And choose pre-compose. Rename it to the texture. Then enable the 3D option. Keep the layer selected and press R to open rotation properties. Then change the X rotation to minus 90 degrees. Now, change the Z position to something like this. Go to the effects and presets. And search the effect motion tile. Drag and drop to the floor layer. Change the output height and width to 600. And check the mirror edges. Go back to the project tab. Drag and drop the floor layer. Then hide it. Right click on empty space. Then new. And select the adjustment layer. Drag it just between these two layers. Rename the adjustment layer to compound blur or any name you like. Go to the effects and presets. Search the effect compound blur. Drag and drop to the adjustment layer. Change the blur map to the floor. And change the maximum blur to 70. Go back to the electric neon logo composition. Drag and drop this composition into the main composition. Now, enable the 3D option. Right click here, then new. And select the camera. Keep the camera layer selected. Press the P key to open position properties. Change the Z position to negative 1500. Then add a keyframe. Go forward to 7 seconds. And change the Z position to negative 1300. Let's see the preview.
Cool. Looks perfect to me. Now, I am going to add the camera layer into the floor composition. But you can skip this part if you want. Finally, our electric neon logo animation is ready. Don't forget to like, share and comment. If you do have any questions, or if anything that is unclear, please leave a comment. I will respond as soon as possible. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Good luck.